Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on building applications with infrastructure as code. I'm Talia Nasi, I'm a lead developer advocate here at Akamai. In the previous video, we learned how to parameterize our configuration files with variables. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to add sensitive information into our configuration files. Oftentimes when you write configuration files, you need to input sensitive information to access the resources listed. However, it's not a best practice to hard code these credentials into your configuration file. Instead, you should mark them as sensitive and set values for the variables in a secure place. So let's go ahead and work off of the last configuration file that we created from the last video. And it looked something like this. So we have our Terraform provider, that is Linode that we're gonna be using. But something that we wanna make sure that we don't hard code is our Linode API token. You can see here, it's a string that we don't want people to have access to um, if they're gonna edit the configuration file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call that terraform.tfbars. And here we're going to add a Linode API token. So instead of hard coding it in the configuration file, we're gonna to refer to it here. So Linode API token, and we're gonna input that value here. So let's copy this and we're gonna paste it here. So now it's in the terraform.tfbars file. So now in our variables.tf file, we're gonna have a reference to that variable that we just created. So variable is gonna be Linode API token. The description is gonna be Linode API token. Type is gonna be string. And what's gonna differentiate this variable with other variables is that we're gonna add the sensitive flag. And this is just marking this as sensitive information. So once we save this, we can see this is a sensitive variable. It's not gonna be referenced directly into the um, Linode Terraform uh, configuration file. And we can now replace this token in the configuration file with var .linode API token. So this is one way to protect your sensitive input variables in your configuration files. Thanks everyone for joining. In this video, we learned how to protect sensitive input variables in our configuration files. In the next video, we're gonna be learning how to manage resource drift. My name is Talia Nasi. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to be updated when we add more content and more videos.